welcome to Valbro's Gaming, and I am Phil, and this is the uh, the golf club. Um, it's a golf game, <laughs> a golf simulator or something, if you want to call it. Um, it's on Steam. It's uh, moderately priced, I guess, and you just play a number of golf courses. They're not licensed courses. They're created by and the guys who created the golf club and there's also um, a number of created golf courses by uh, random people of the public and but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to play a normal round uh, around the Flathead County Golf Club which is an official the golf club course um, it's quite an easy course as you can see in the last few games I've played Around it, it's um, I've been quite heavily under par, so I'd, I'd recommend it because it's quite a nice, easy course to play. Um, yeah, and uh, let's get started. Hello there, and welcome to the golf club. My name's John, and we're starting off with a par four. Let's see what we can do. So, yeah, here we go. We've got the first hole is par four, 398 yards. And oh, it need, I, I don't know why it decides that you should use a free wood off the tee. It doesn't make any sense. All you need to do is just crack the driver straight down. Um, you swing just by clicking, moving the club backwards and then forward again, or Something side good. to side, depending how you set it up in the controls. Um, and yeah, so that's me nice on the fairway. Leaving about 97 yards to go. Um, eight, 8 mile an hour winds as well, so Invo is 11 feet up. I'm, I'm going to do aim it slightly to the right and take some of it off the off shot. Let's see how that goes. Not a nice kick to the right, but um, All right, this decent next length to it. Leaves me with a 15 foot left to right putt. Yeah, it's always quite hard to judge the, the break on the, on this thing. Um, you judge the break by watching where the little white dots go. So you can see it's left to right here quite heavily to begin with and then kind of slowing down a bit. Um, looks like we're going slightly uphill. So uh, let's give it a bash. Didn't Throw quite get the, the line right, but the All speed right, nice was good. Foot putt. So I'm just going to hold this for my putt. Well, I'm happy to move on. Yeah, way to start things out with a nice little par. Uh, what All you might right. have seen there let's is um, I am a plus nine handicap, which means I actually have to add nine shots onto my score which is a bit annoying um uh, oh well and here we go so 152 yard uh, par three eight foot uh, below where we are um 10 mile an hour winds kind of uh, right to left and helping so i'm dropping down a club taking a little bit off as well and aiming on the right edge of the green. Yeah, let's see how this goes. For the green Looks here. right on it. Ooh, <laughs> pretty close to a hole in one there. Um, just nice needed to be a little harder, there. and it would have okay, uh, slam dunked it into the hole. Out. So we've got another 16 foot putt. It's one inch downhill, it's slightly left to right. No, maybe not. Outside the hole, I do left edge. And let's give it a go, give it a whack. And there we go. Nice. So that's the, the birdie. Um, but because because of my handicap, right, that's actually a part annoying me. Because uh, yeah, these are the holes where I have to add an extra shot. And the last four holes annoy me. But oh well. Okay, here we go. There we go, the third hole. Dog leg right. 
and it's very much just I don't know, again I don't know why it chooses a free wood I mean you can go a driver um, with no real issue at all the wind isn't helping annoyingly and um, because if the wind's like helping you can cut the corner here. a little bit okay so this is a par 5 it can be reachable but with the wind in the direction <laughs> it is in there's no chance of it so I'm going to go into down to a 5 iron and just knock it down the fairway Ooh, a bit of a slice on that one but luckily the wind brings it back I'd say around 105 yards or so to the pin here. Yeah, so as the commentary said, 105 ish yards, um, some feet up in the air, and the wind is hindering, so I'm actually going to go to a pitching wedge and maybe take a little, a little touch off. Again, a bit of a slice on the swing. And I've over hit it a tad. Nice. We've got about Fourth five yards. Bird. Right, here we go. So, this is a bird's eye view. You can see it's going to go left to right um, at the end. Not much to begin with, and slightly downhill, but pretty, pretty flat. So, let's uh, give it a hit. Come on, get round. Get round! Oh, so close. Almost the right line. All right, nice little two-foot putt. Leave me with a little one for okay, my par. these numbers add up now. But that's one where I should have really one got over. a birdie Justin with my handicap. Down. So, um, okay, next yep, I'm one over at the moment. Right. This one's quite a short par four. Nothing really needs to be said. You just hit it straight. <laughs> It's looking good. I shouldn't run out of fairway. I hope. Oh, ooh, just, just about stayed on the fairway. 85 yards against the wind, so I'm going up to 95 and uh, aiming to the right. Hope this one has some teeth. Um, so I didn't really judge the wind enough. Well, that'll play. Little work to do, but nothing too Leaves bad. Leaves me about pin high. Right to left slightly. There we go. Or if it a bit hard, get back. There Perfect. We go. And that brings me back to level par for a round. And after that hole, your adjusted score is even par. You can see it's a very quick sort of game once you get used to it. Um, Especially once you know the course, you just pick your kind of landing spot and uh, give it a swing. Nice, should be in the fairway. It is nice and easy to read what sort of um, what sort of clubs you need because okay, uh, it, it gives you out here. the the distance here plus the amount of feet uphill or downhill it is and the the wind speed it, it it takes a bit of time to know how much nine miles an hour will affect it and how much twelve feet um above you will affect it. I I've still not got the hang of it yet. But you, you get the gist of it over the round anyway. Um and obviously you get the amount uh, the uh, carry distance for the clubs, so you can make an informed decision anyway. And uh, so we've got 207 yards to the hole, uh, 203 yards to the hole, 12 feet up uphill though. So I'm going to go over 207, and I'm actually going. Uh, actually, I'm going to go down to 195 because I want to pitch it. A little short. No, no, no. I'll go 207, but knock it down a little bit. So I want to pitch it on the front of the green. 
I let it run on a little bit. Let's see how that goes. Go on, keep left. Keep left. Ah. Oh my sweet. Ah, just off the green. I don't know why it, it, it wants you to chip when you're literally a couple of inches off the green. But, um, there we go, so downhill, right to left. Uh, go on. Ah, oh, so close. Uh, yeah, so I just get my par 4 there. Let's see how this adds up. The putting is quite tricky on this, um, Even and it's hard to judge the distance. Just it's score. literally just, you know, you move a bit back and forward. Um, yeah, so, and it, it often mucks up a little bit, so you, you can fire a six foot part about ten feet past, and then you can dribble the next one only about three feet or so. Um, yeah, so here we go, we're on the sixth hole, par 3, 155 yards, I'm going to have to aim right over the other side of the fairway, pardon me, um, and I'm going to take a bit off the suggested club, there we go. Beauty. Oh, maybe I aimed it a little bit too far. But it's coming around nicely with the, the slope of the green. And yeah, I think you could two putt from here. All right, 13 footer here. Should be able to hold this one. Not much break. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. So that's another birdie, and I finally get to one under um, on net. Right, but I've got one two holes where hole I have to. Four. Had a shot to my round. Well, uh, just letting you know it's a bit um, windy out there, so. So, what's it? Is this a uh, par cool. five? Ah, yeah. oh, this hole is reachable in two as well, so. Should be alright. Um, aim down the left side. Because I have a bit of a slice on this game, which is a bit strange because when I play actual golf, I also have a bit of a slice, um, or a left to right sort of ball flight. Um, so it, it's, it is obviously something that I'm doing wrong for both. Um, yeah, it's 258 yards. Might not be able to reach actually in two, but we're going to give it a go with the free wood. Oh, I'll get, I pulled it a bit. Um, uh, wouldn't have reached anyway, so that's fine. 33 yards, it wants us to do a full lob wedge or a uh, full pitch shot. I'm going to go down to a flop shot though. Um, when my keyboard decides to respond. And I'm just going to give it a flop. There we go. Oh no, stay up, stay up, stay up. Okay, There's a big slope there <laughs> which I just here. missed. Um, yeah, so I need to hold this really, and it's not really that much. Yeah, so let's give it a whack. Go, go, on. yes. Yep. So that keeps me at one under with my net. Right, and one under is your adjusted score after that one. And then this one's a short par four. Uh, again, it says to go free wood, but there's no point. You might as well use your driver and smash it past a tree. Uh, a lot, a lot better there. Um, yeah, so there we go. Bit of a dirty oh, swing. I sliced there. it again. So I'm going to be in the rough for the next shot. It's a bit of a pain because then um, if you're on the fairway, with only about 45 yards to go, it's a much easier shot. Obviously, um, so I've got to get this over the bunkers, uh, add a little bit onto it, and give it a go. Go get over it. Uh, well, you're going to be entertained now because um, I'm absolutely awful at uh, bunker shots on this game. 
So, uh, there we go. Yeah, a wonderful shot there. <laughs> I just can't do the bunker Not shots in this game. Amazing, but you're out of the bunker. So, so I'll, I'll be lucky here to get away with an actual par. Either I'm going to drop at least a shot. Go and go it. No, oh, really how, it that's gone on. miles past. I barely touched it. All right, a little six foot putt here. So, There's a nice there we go. I've dropped two shots, so I'm actually back to one over par now. All on right, adjusted score is one over par. That's what happens when you get one. out off of, or out of line. On the course, it's a bit of a pain. Again, here, short par, par uh, short par four. Don't know why it wants you to use an iron. If you're accurate with a driver, you can get a long way up there and have a very small shot in. Oh, what is with my swing? On this hit all the fairways. So I'm going to be in another bunker here. Here we go, perfect. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. There we go, struggling now. I'm going to go with another flop shot, bring it down, and put it up to the side a little bit. Oh, it's only gone about halfway. Okay, we're putting from around 15 feet out. Go on, get right, get right. Done. Little six Hemorrhaging shots scary. now. Solid Just about. <laughs> so that's the front nine of the course. Right, Started off well, just the, the last two holes in. You know, when you go in the right, bunkers, it's, it's just, just what happens. Smash this next drive. Especially for me, anyway. Um, yeah, so we go. I'm going to try and actually drive this one straight this time. There we go. Wind's going to bring it over to the right and should kick off that slope. Go on, get down there. Now this is a long nice. par 5, but yeah, we might be able to reach like it in 2. To the pin. Probably can. I'm going to go with an iron anyway. I probably should have gone with my five wood. Oh, there's a bunker behind it, which I don't really want to go anywhere near. At least from here, I can uh, I can flop it on. There we go. All so right, this is another one where I have to give a shot back. That was brilliant. So, I needed that birdie. Uh, that's a better start to the back nine at least. Put the last two holes of the front nine behind me. Um, with this one, you want to keep it over to the left ideally, because it everything everything slopes down to the right. So that should be a good shot. You can see the slope there; it's bringing it down. And we're away from that big tree. I'd say around 105 yards or so to the pin here. So we've got a left and right sort of line, so I need to bring it over to the right, uh, to the left, sorry, a bit, because it's going to go that way, um, heavily against the wind. So I'm going to give a 120 yard pitch away to go, and it should be alright. Looks a bit left. Now uh, the, the line didn't okay, seem to. You got some Make real much of a cover with this next one. I find the commentary is a little bit sarcastic in this as well. Um, but oh well. <laughs> it's quite interesting. It does mock you quite a bit as well. Um, especially when you miss a, a little part. Um, 
want to judge this one. Oh, that was a bad putt. <laughs> Four feet to the hole, you can do this. A little bit of encouragement there. And uh, just get round in the par on that hole. It's not an easy one. All right, you're it's a birdie on really. two over par after that one. So this one is a long par three, 196 yards. We've got water on the left, and we just need to get it on the green, really. Um, with the wind really affecting it, this I had to club up a bit, good. and this is looking pretty much perfect. Yeah, no, look at that, release to hole high, and this should be a guaranteed hey, birdie. Yep. Nice. And there we go. At least that brings me back to plus one on that now. All right, one over after adjustments on that hole. Okay, here we go. Thirteenth hole. Unlucky thirteen. This is quite a good hole. This one is a dog leg left to right. Um, what I tend to do: get the driver out and go through these trees. Well, actually. Go over this tree. I'll go here and let the wind take it over. I think, and let's give it a try. Don't hit nice. anything. Should be in the fairway. Don't hit anything. Ah, oh, yes, perfectly done there. And that should leave me with only a little chip in. Yep, seventy-seven yards. We take a little bit off because the wind's going to help. Yeah, there we go. Looks like this is a beauty. Stop! 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 Oh, look at that spin! Could be two birdies in the bounce okay, here. The Should be. Yeah. That was awesome. Two birdies on the bounce. Gets me back to level. Nice even par on your scorecard after that one. Okay, so this is the last hole which I've got where I don't have to give a shot back to the course. So I need to really make the most of it. And this one's a tough one. We've got a 375 yard par 4, but it's got a huge river in, in between you and the hole. Um, no idea how I'm actually going to get there, seeing as it doesn't look like there's a bridge in sight. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a five wood and just put it to the end of the the fairway. This is a beauty. And you can see that it's very much downhill for the All next right, shot. 150, 150 yards, yards but 34 feet downhill. Um, so I'm just going to go with the recommended one and give it a whack. Go and get there, get there. Yeah. Sweet. So on the grid, ah, just on the fringe. So it's a bit of an awkward part. I don't think I'm going to birdie it. Oh, there's a lot of break involved, so I, think I might even have to go over here. It's not a bad read from it. Uh, you can see it was a tough right, part, a so putt. coming away with a par right, is pretty decent, I guess. Scorecard. Sitting at even it's, par. Uh, That's four more holes to play, two par fours. Par three and a par five. 15th hole coming up. Uh, this is another one where you can kind of go over the, the corner, especially with the wind helping. So um, we might run out of the uh, fairway behind it, or run out of the green actually. So let's give this a go. See if I drive straight. Nope, I've pulled it. Oh, it's going to no, be in the bunker. Go on, get over, get over, get over. No. Okay, come on, come on, good bunker shot. Come on. 
That's like the best bung shot I've ever played. <laughs> and it's still not that good. Alright, there we go, got the birdie. So I'll stay at level par. Alright, sitting right where you should be, even par is your adjusted score after that one. Another par 332 yards, 11 foot downhill, and the wind is helping, so I'm going to go with a pitching wedge, slightly to the right. Pretty straight swing. I think this is going to need to bite. Stop, stop. Ah, that'll do, that'll do. You can still get a birdie here. Now, good stuff. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Quite a bit of swing involved here. Oh, oh I missed it by a few inches. All right, let's keep going. So that takes me to plus one, and that basically means I'm gonna finish now over par now, because I don't see myself getting eagles that. on these holes. Um, especially this one. It's gonna go freeward down the left side. Wind bring it back onto the fairway. So far. Get back. Go on. A little bit more. So I actually leave a 70 yard shot in. Well, those 61 yards. Um, gonna add a little bit on. This so, one's looking dialed in. Come on, move. Ah, left Very it a little nice. bit. Bit of a long part. Come on, move, move. There we go. Go on, go in, go in. No. All right, but a three footer here. Almost nice. had the birdie, so that's now two over par. And again, it's just coming just apart on the, uh, the last few holes down. of the nine. Um, this one's a long par five. Don't know how I expected to gain shots on this hole. Right, it's token dick so 18. Well, this is apparently the easiest hole. That can't be right. How is this the easiest hole? Oh, you can't okay, even looks reach like about 235 well, yards to the pin. I need you reach in two. It's not much of a target to hit. So I'll give it a try, but I'm going to have to aim all the way over here. It's not coming back. Come back a bit. Come on. Come on. At least it's not in the... Yeah, we're in the first cut, but a uh, little chip mm. onto the green and we'll be putting. Come on. Come on, keyboard. Here we go. It's not much help. Hit the flag. Hit the flag. Oh, no. Stop, stop, stop. No. That's all falling apart. <laughs> Alright, we got a 22. Yeah, quarter. so this Let's is my birdie part. Is. Go on. Yeah, get in there. That at least I stayed at two over par. Fine. That's not I too bad. That was seven under, and, and you know, without the net, uh, without the handicap. So in the end, it's yeah, still pretty good. Uh, just two, four. two wheel blips down the back on the first nine. Um, yeah. So that's the Flathead County Golf Club. It's the golf club's official course. Um, my handicaps have not really changed. Um, yes, yeah, so, and yeah, my best score was was a 62. It's pretty decent, and it gives you some stats: it's, uh, longest drive, longest hole out, longest part, and so on. And obviously you can rate it. I, I like this course, so I rated it 10 and have made it a favourite. And obviously you can check out your scorecard. Um, yeah, so that that is a quick play of the uh, the golf club. It's a nice little game. Um, 
for me it's what it does it, it kind of feeds my goal first um, in a way where, when I can't get out and play or um, obviously when, in the evenings when um, you just don't have the time it, you can get a quick game in um, 18 holes doesn't take that long I, I don't know how long that was but it probably wasn't that long um, and obviously you can play with other people um, you can do seasons now it's available I think that might be a, an extra um, you might have to pay for it I don't know uh, you can create tours you can create your own golf course which is quite cool um, and you can just do a, a random tee off so yeah th thanks for watching I hope you liked it and um, obviously subscribe if you if you do and hopefully we'll get some more videos out for you.